You're watching Denver 7 at 11. We're following breaking news today after a chase with Aurora police ends in a deadly shooting. Yeah, police have confirmed the suspect is dead and one of the officers involved here is severely injured. We've got team coverage on this officer involved shooting. Sally Mamdu and Lindsay Watts both had the chase and the shooting covered from beginning to end. We're going to start with Lindsay Watts where it all started at I-225 in Alameda. Kelly and Mitch, the 225 South exit ramp onto Alameda is still closed as this investigation continues. It has been a long one because this all started just before 4 o'clock this morning. Aurora police say the suspect, who is now dead, hit an officer with a car right here. That officer uh, is the one that was seriously hurt. Police also confirmed that the suspect stole an Aurora police car and then took off down Alameda. The white car that police are gathered around right now, that was also part of this, and a second person was detained who was in that car. It's not clear yet if the suspect was driving the white car or the squad car when he hit the officer. We do know police chased after the guy once he was in the police cruiser and finally got him a few miles from here at Alameda and Kentucky. Shots were fired, and then that suspect was killed. I talked to a man who says police also fired shots at the suspect initially as he was taking off in the police car and officers were frantically trying to stop him. If I seen the officer running onto the arm ramp uh, chasing the, the police cruiser and then I heard uh, when it was going up I heard the shots and then I seen the cop car do a U-turn come back and then that when it was coming back towards the cop the, that's when the cop unloaded another clip onto the car. The man you just heard from, Carlos Morales, was able to get this cell phone video of police going after the suspect in the white car. An officer screams for the person inside to put his hands up. It sounds like police break out the car window, and then that witness says police handcuffed the man who was inside. No word yet on exactly when this road will reopen. Denver 7 reporter Sally Mamdu is live right now at the second scene at Kentucky and Alameda. And Sally, investigators are where you are as well. That's right, Lindsay. This is sort of part two of the investigation and part two of the scene where you're at right now. They're still out here investigating just what happened just a few hours ago. And right now you can see that the suspect's body is right behind these makeshift orange walls roped off by crime scene tape. One of those Aurora squad cars you're looking at is believed to be that one that the suspect stole. Now we're still waiting to hear exactly what happened that caused the suspect to get into one of the cop cars. I spoke with a man who was plowing snow near I-225 in Alameda, just around 420 this morning, who says he saw the whole thing go down. He said he saw the suspect drive towards the cop at some point and saw the cop fire back several shots at the suspect. Now, he was shocked to find out that the chase, car, and suspect all came to a stop right in his front yard. I thought when I pulled away, it looked like the police car was rolling to a stop, so I thought he had killed him right there on the scene. So I was shocked when my wife called and told me that the guy was right in front of our our complex. Now this scene, because it happened at two different places, will probably take several hours to process, which is why the command post has been set up here. We're also told that the, there's a press conference that will happen this afternoon, and new information in that press conference will be released. And of course, once we have that information, we'll have it available to you as soon as possible. For now, we're in Denver. Sally Memdu, Denver 7.